what's going on guys rusty here with average lawn care and today we are talking about the milwaukee m18 m12 job site wireless bluetooth speaker um, this showed up about three weeks ago um, and i was pretty excited to get it uh, if you follow me on instagram you saw that i made a post uh, if not average lawn care on instagram um, and snapchat average lawn care twitter all of them average lawn care uh, you can follow me along if you wish um, but I posted a picture of this. Uh, I was pretty excited to test it out and I've been using it um, Not almost daily, but close enough to be in uh, every other day. I use this speaker um, And I wanted to use it just to test it out and see uh, How it's going to fit into my life uh, This is called the job site speaker um, It is meant to be used on job sites. Uh, we'll go over all the technical jargon right now uh, Just to get that stuff out of the way. So uh, like I said this is not available just yet um, on Milwaukee Tool website. It says uh, early 2017. I've seen some other websites saying that it's going to be re released uh, in February of 2017. Uh, MSRP on this um, from Milwaukee Tool is $300. Um, I've seen it on some other websites for $150 as like a, a sale special when it launches. Uh, so for sure, if you're interested in something like this or you've been looking for a, a speaker um, to use, 150 bucks, you can't go wrong with that. Um, even at $300 price tag, if it came out at that, which it won't, um, that's just MSRP, that's suggested value, um, it would still be worth $300. I would pick that up. Uh, so we'll get through all the technical stuff real quick so I can just get on with my fun-filled review. Uh, industry's loudest, cleanest um, sound system, uh, they are, um, I would say, uh, targeting bows. Um, now, anybody who's working on a job site is not going to be taking a Bose speaker to the job site with them. Uh, so I think the leg up goes to Milwaukee here. Um, comparing it with the Bose uh, Bluetooth speaker, uh, Bose comes in at 116 decibel. Um, this one comes in at 119 decibel, so another check mark for the box of Milwaukee. Um, and just kind of give you uh, an idea how loud that is, that's what it's like running a chainsaw without using your hearing protection. That's 116 uh, or 119 decibel uh, would be running your chainsaw without hearing protection on, which nobody's doing that. Um, you can stream a high definition uh, audio to this via Bluetooth connection, or uh, there's an aux cord plug on the back. Uh, you can plug in your um, iPod or iPod Touch or iPod Nano, whatever you want. Um, anything that doesn't have Bluetooth, you can connect it with a 3.5mm aux cord. Uh, so that's awesome as well. Um, it is wireless. It uses the M18 or the M12 battery system. Um, right now I've got the M18 battery system in it. Um, you can also plug it into a, a wall outlet. Um, and I'll show you the back side of this. There's a little panel with some additional inputs on it. Um, but it does come with a wall jack. Um, honestly though, the best thing about this is running it with uh, a battery pack in it and running it wireless. You can take it anywhere. Um, no limits on that. So that's that's an, an awesome job uh, I think Milwaukee did with this setup. Um, it has a total of six speakers. You got two in the top, two in the, the front facing here, and two on the bottom. So we'll start on the bottom. You got two um, uh, passive radiators. Now if, you, if you're not into uh, like an audio file or anything like that, if you're not into that, you probably won't know what that means, but uh, that's kind of that's where your base is going to come from uh, through the passive radiators. Um, up here on the front panel, this is where your um, two high definition mid woofers come in, uh, like the mid range. That's where a lot of the voice and sound comes from. And then up here on the top, you have two high range tweeters that drive um, out of here. And also inside of this, you have a 40 watt dual channel amplifier. So that's where all the power comes from, uh, splitting that. Uh, 40 watt into uh, dual channel there uh, really really cranks the sound um, it is IP54 water and dust protected um, so you're not going to worry about if you're on a job site uh, or if a little sprinkle gets on it you're not going to worry about this thing it is totally I mean it's sealed um, you're not going to find anything better than that um, in this market uh, impact resistant what they call the roll cage this is all like a real thick plastic um, this up here is nice, heavy, thick plastic. The, the grills here, um, it's very, it's very thick, very heavy. Uh, it's about 14 inches long. 
Um, I didn't measure the diameter, but it looks like it's about roughly a six inch to six and a half inch um, size on the sides uh, in diameter. And it weighs uh, roughly five pounds, a little over five pounds, uh, somewhere in there. So um, we'll turn around here on the back. And like I said, I got the, the M18 battery pack in it. And we'll flip it a little bit. And right here, uh, this is where your USB port's at. Um, anybody that streams Bluetooth uh, from their cell phone, you know it kills the battery. Just plug your, your phone into this with a USB charger, and it will charge it as it plays the music. Um, and it charges fast. Uh, next, you have your aux cord, your 3.5mm uh, jack right there. And then this is where you would plug in your, um, uh, your, your power for the wall unit, the wall outlet. So right there. Uh, and then this is uh, all protected. It's a rubber uh, seal that goes around there. And uh, it seems flimsy, but this is a little rubber strap that holds it on. But you just tuck it in, and it kind of just seals itself shut. Uh, again, we're running the, the M18 setup here. Down here, you got the M12 setup you can run in there, which makes it all wireless, battery-powered. Uh, just drops in, turn the power on, and wait for it to connect to Bluetooth. Audible tone lets you know it's connected. You've got your volume up, your volume down, and an auxiliary button there. Um, one of the other cool things on this is the handle. You can grab this handle here, and uh, I mean, it's sturdy. It's not going anywhere. Um, makes it easy to carry it around. Um, as a matter of fact, I have my four-year-old daughter carrying this thing around. Uh, she found it when I uh, first got it, and she comes walking in the living room, and Dad asked, Dad, what is this? And she was carrying it by the handle. Um, thought it was kind of funny, but um, yeah guys, this thing, I don't even know how to tell you, uh, there's no point in turning it on because through the microphone of the camera, it's just going to distort, um, it's, or it's going to sound distorted, but I've cranked this thing full volume with the volume on my cell phone up full with a equalizer setting on my, um, uh, on my cell phone, and some songs I did get some distortion uh, just a slight bit. I mean, it wasn't nothing that would, you know, like make you think, oh, that thing, you know, sounds like crap. But if if you're an audiophile and you're you're listening for that stuff, um, you'll you'll hear on certain songs. Now, other songs, no distortion. Um, now, one of the other things I thought about, um, it could be the quality of the file that I've downloaded. It may not be high quality, and it may be in the file causing the distortion because it doesn't distort on every song. It was like two songs I found that I could hear just a slight distortion at full blast. Um, but you're not listening to this thing at full blast um, when you're working in your shop or anything like that. But if you're on a job site, you know, a bunch of hammer going on, stuff like that. I could see this thing being cranked up and the guys and girls in there rocking out with it. Um, you know, it does not have a radio built in. Um, some of you old timers, uh, you, you may be upset by that. You know, they, they still make one that has a radio, so this one probably isn't going to be for you. But for us, uh, this generation, we're all about streaming our content uh, quick and easy, fast, and we want to listen to what we want to listen to. We don't, you know, at least I don't want to listen to commercials and stuff like that, which is why I don't listen to the radio. Um, I listened to this for the past three weeks, like I said, about every other day. Um, I listen to podcasts, I listen to audiobooks, and I've listened to my music. I've used it out in the shop, listening to it when I was working on, um, you know, winterizing my equipment uh, for the lawn care season, um, and it, <laughs> it was great. Uh, usually I just got got like this little circle Bluetooth speaker and it sounds like crap but it's enough for me to listen to you know, music or something when I was out in the shop but this thing this thing brings the heat um, very impressed with what Milwaukee has done here uh, I think it's a nice package um, I, I've been trying to find something wrong with this speaker system I have tried and I've tried hard and the only thing I can say <clears throat> is you know with the battery pack in it it's a little bit heavy uh, but it's not like I'm carrying it around, you know, uh, on the street, you know, listening to music. I mean, it's, it sits on a shelf or it sits on, uh, the workbench. Um, it sits on my counter when I'm cleaning up in the kitchen or I'm cooking dinner. Uh, you know, that, once I sit it where I want it, that's where it stays. And every other time you move it, you just grab by the handle and it goes wherever you want. So, uh, one of the biggest things about this, uh, that, you know, they, Milwaukee calls this the job site speaker. I really think, um, I mean, 
you look at it, it's so nice. I mean, it's it's very clean. It's very it's very nice. I really like the design of it. They did a great job. Um, but what I'm finding uh, is this speaker is going to fit into my lifestyle more than my my work life with my lawn care. You know, uh, lawn care. I'm listening to my music on my headphones and uh, taking phone calls and working. You know. Um, it's only at the end of the day or the beginning of the day that I probably listen to this thing in the shop when I'm uh, cleaning up my equipment, uh, restringing my trimmers, uh, sharpening blades, you know, cleaning decks, all that stuff. Uh, yeah, of course I'll use it out there for that. But one of the things I found interesting is every year we take a trip to Florida, a family vacation, and every year we always make the comment, man, we wish we had it, had something to listen to. You know, it's so nice to have music listening to it um, when you're on the beach. Uh, we spend all day out there, and this uh, this is a beach radio. I, this will be used when we go on vacation um, in the next couple months. Uh, I'm going to take it. I'm going to test it out on the beach, and um, you know, like I said, it's that IP54 dust and water protected uh, certified. Um, but you know, it's not like we're going to have it in the ocean or right next to the ocean. It's going to be at our little beach area. Um, where somebody's always sitting there, so I don't have to worry about it getting stolen or anything like that. Um, so that's going to be awesome. The second thing, I am a huge outdoors fan. I love camping. I love fishing. I love uh, motor motorcycle riding. I love bicycling, mountain biking. Uh, I love kayaking, uh, boating, you know, you name it. Um, this thing, this summer, uh, we're going to take it everywhere with us. We go camping, and um, we volunteer um with a uh, group called Heroes on the Water and we take veterans kayak fishing for a day once a month we volunteer for that and it's usually a weekend trip where we uh, take our camper and we set up camp and we usually have about 30 veterans that show up um, from a VA hospital and we take them out kayaking and fishing get them out of the hospital and uh, just you know give them something to do and get their mind off of whatever they're going on or what they're going through at the hospital um, so this thing's going to be awesome they'll be able to listen to some music at the campsite um, you know, we'll be able to listen to music. Uh, if I just want to go fishing away from everybody, you know, I can carry this and go set the shop somewhere on the side of the bank and just listen to music or listen to a podcast uh, or an audiobook while I'm out camping and fishing and relaxing. So, um, like I said, they call this the job site speaker. Uh, they could easily call it the lifestyle speaker because I really think that um, whoever owns this, you'll find that you'll be able to slide this into your normal lifestyle. Um, with your friends, with your family, uh, and what you do outside of your job. So uh, kudos to Milwaukee uh, for, for making this thing. It is amazing. It looks amazing, sounds amazing. Um, highly suggest you check it out. Uh, it's supposed to be coming out early 2017. Some, like I said, some sources say uh, next month in February. Today is uh, January 6th, and uh, I highly recommend it that you pick it up. Um, you know, Milwaukee... Thanks for sending this thing. Um, I wasn't paid for this endorsement. I wasn't paid for this review. Nothing like that. Um, but, you know, like I said, it's hard to find something to fault this thing with. Uh, I'm sure other people will. But for myself, I think it's great. Um, definite, definite pickup. Hey, guys, thanks for checking us out. Um, as always, like, subscribe, share with your friends, family, coworkers, anybody that might be interested in some of our content or the review on this Milwaukee M18 M12 job site. Uh, wireless uh, Bluetooth speaker. Um, and as always, have a great day, guys, and we'll see you on the next video.